Good morning, Hope Kids. Um, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday morning um, with your family. I hope that you've been having a good week, um, hopefully getting some schoolwork done and playing with your brothers and sisters um, or your parents or whoever you're stuck at home with. Um, I'm at home with Brantley. You can't see him, but he's right underneath my feet. <laughs> um, and Blake, and we are trying to make a good time out of it. Um, and so... Last week, hopefully you saw Mr. Corey was able to talk to you about the miracle um, of raising a dead girl, um, which is a pretty crazy story. And today we're going to hear another really crazy story. Uh, remember, we're talking about the miracles of Jesus. Um, and so today we're going to talk about a guy named Lazarus. Um, and if you didn't know, Lazarus was one of Jesus' really good friends. Um, and so... In John 11, in the Bible, um, you can read about it. Um, but in John 11, it talks about how Mary um, was Lazarus' brother. I'm sorry, was Lazarus' sister. And um, she sent for Jesus as he was out um, doing his ministry and said, Jesus, come quick. Lazarus is really sick. Um, and he said, don't worry. Um, God will take care of him. Um, God gets the glory. And so he waited two more days until when that message came until he decided to go and see Lazarus. Um, and by then, Lazarus had died. Um, and, and kind of like what they did with Jesus, they put him in a tomb. Um, and before, the, the sisters took his body. So this is my example of a body. And this is a craft that you can do at home with some easy things. Um, this is my example of the body. They took Lazarus' body and they wrapped him um, in cloth. So I'm going to wrap him in my ribbon today. <laughs> um, but they wrapped him up. They wrapped his feet and his hands and his face. Um, they wrapped him up. And then what they did was they, just like Jesus, the story that we talked about on Easter, after they finished wrapping him up in the linen cloth, they took some oil that Brantley has. <laughs> they took some oil and um, anointed the body with it, and um, so it didn't smell bad. Um, and then after they put them in the tomb, so they took the wrapped up body and put them, put it in the tomb and rolled a stone away over it, just like the story of Jesus. Um, <clears throat> so when Jesus came two days later, Mary said, "It's too late. He's already died." Um, and so I'm gonna look at verses. Um, so it says, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. That's what Mary said to Jesus whenever he got there. That was um, verse 21 in John chapter 11. So we're going to uh, read from there. It says, but even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give it. That's what Mary said. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus, and so Mary was like, I know when God comes back, he will rise again. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Um, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord. <laughs> she said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that. You are the Christ and the Son of God who is coming into the world. So at first she was kind of confused. She was like, I know that he'll rise again. It's just sad because he's not going to be with me anymore um, in this life. And he says, no, Mary, I'm the resurrection. I can do this, um, these miracles um, if you believe in me. Um, he says, do you believe in me? She said, yes, I do. Now, that's always how we want to be. We never want to doubt God's miracles, um, even today, that he can do them. So, even though God, uh, Jesus had the power um, to do this, Lazarus was still his best friend. Um, and so, he, he, it says Jesus wept. He cried um, about Lazarus' death. He was really sad about it. Um, and, and some people question why he cried. They're like, can't he do miracles? Um, can't he... Raised people from the dead. He healed a blind man. Why is he crying? So after this, Jesus um, said, he came to the t tomb. This is in verse 38. And said, take away the stone. Martha um, 
Lord, by this time there will be a, a bad smell. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this on account of the people standing around that they may believe that you sent me. So he was saying, I said this so that people could hear me around me. When he had said this, um, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out. His hands and feet were bound in linen strips. Remember what we talked about? And his face was wrapped in cloth, and Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. So, what happened? Mm. What happened was, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. That's the second account that we read about people coming up um, from the dead in the Bible, that Jesus healed in miracles. Um, and so, this story is just another reason for us to say, Wow. Look at Jesus. Um, he was he was fully human and he was sad about his best friend dying. But he was also fully God. And he was able to use that power um, to uh, show people around him that he is God's son. And that he um, is has that power and he can do miracles. Um, and so this is just another way to show people that, um, to believe in him. And so for us, what does that mean today in our so what moment? Um, well, it means two things. One, it means that um, God always knows what's going on with us. Um, he always sees our hurt and our struggles and our situations. Um, and that we can lean on him in those struggles and situations. He might not always heal the sick for us. Um, but that doesn't mean that he can't. He can. Um but he always has our best interest at heart, and he always knows and loves us so much that um, he's always in the situation with us, whether it's good or bad. The second thing is, it's more practical, is something that we can do. There are a lot of people, um, maybe in our lives, and maybe not, maybe just in the world, um, that are sick or that are hurting in some way. Um, and so, something that we can do. Um, that shows the love of God is make them cards. So maybe you want to make them a card. You can make it out of paper. If you have any cards at your house, you can draw a picture on them or write something to them and just um, say that you're praying for them and that Jesus loves them um, and show them the power of God through um, a kid, through just their your healing um, arts and crafts. So that's something that we can do that just shows people that um, you care about them and that they they are loved and that they are loved by God. Uh, and so if you make some of those cards this week, um, post it down below. Uh, post a picture. I'd love to see them. Um, and so that you can show people the love of God and so that you can show people um, how much you care about them too. So uh, I love you guys. I miss you guys. If you guys want to do the, um, the worship song, you can go back to the first video from the first week um, and do that. But uh, I will see you guys next week, and we'll talk about the last miracle of Jesus. Um, so, see you guys soon. Bye. Can you say bye? Say bye. Can you wave? You going to wave? Oh, there you go. Bye, everybody.